<clears throat> Yo, what's up? How you doing? So, my name is Hamish, but a lot of people, uh, a lot of call me uh, 25 Batili. Um, I don't want to waste no time. Let's get started uh, with this. Uh, if you face time on my channel, uh, click the subscription button under here. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and all the other social media. You know what I'm saying? And I got my music right there. Just in case if you don't know, I do music too. So just uh, click the link below here. You're going to see my music. But, you know, don't watch my music before we get started with this, okay? When you finish, then yes, you can watch my music. I'm going to allow you to watch my music. You know, my music video, but not now, please. So now, <clears throat> let's get to the deal. So the deal here, uh, we want to check the margin margin profit and margin cost so we have some questions here you know what i'm saying um first and foremost if uh before we get started with the margin profit margin cost some people don't know how to derivate so i'm gonna show you now how to derivate quick one minute and then we go solve all this question so before you start margin profit and margin cost let me show you some just a little uh, this more uh, involved derivative you know what i'm saying so if somebody give for example let's say profit of x means this is a function equal to let's say here 5 and then x power 4 minus uh, let's say uh, x square over 8 plus 100 so now this is not profit it's the profit function you know what I'm saying so you want to derivate so how would you derivate to derivate is easy you see this number here if you derivate take this number to the back so you're gonna say 4 times any number which is behind x so 4 behind the front, whatever you can call it. So 4 times 5 equal to 20. And then drop your number exactly, which is x. And then take the power. You see this power? Minus 1. So 4 minus 1 equal to 3. Oh, is it easy like that? Oh, yeah. So we say equal, minus, so we not equal. So which number is before x? Is 1. Because if you say 1 house, what does that mean? Even if you say house, means it's 1 house. If you say y, it means there's a 1, even if it's not written there. So it means there's a 1 here, even though it's just not written. So we're going to take this power to the back. So 2, you times by the number before. So 2 times 1 equal to 2. And then write your x exactly the way how it is. Take your power, power this number, the 1 on top, minus 1. So 2 minus 1 equal to 1. And then over, you are 8, exactly. Now you go, you plus. So this one does not have an x. So when you derivate, if a number does not have an x, if you derivate, it becomes 0. You know what I'm saying? So this 100 is going to become 0 because it doesn't have an x. So if the number does not have an x, when you derivate, it's going to become 0. So now this function, profit, p function, is not going to be only p of x. You put prime here. So when you put prime, you tell them, I have read a derivative. So that's how you derivate. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Let me get you one more. Quick, and then we go to the question. So that's how you derivate. Let's take more example. Okay, somebody give you a... Um, um, let's see, a uh, cost function of x and then equal to uh, 3 over 4 x, uh, let's say square root, x square root minus uh, <coughs> uh, 10 x power 7 and then minus uh, a plus 100. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? So let's say uh, this is a cost function. So first and foremost, uh, like I said, we want to see how we derivate because you can do none of this if you don't know how to derivate, okay? How to derivate. Let me write here some people that might not know how to derivate or differentiate. Sometimes you say derivate or you can say differentiate the same thing. Okay, let's find derivative. So now you cannot derivate anything when it is in the root. So if you have, let's say, square root of x, this meaning x power half. If you have a cube root, let's say there's a number 3 here, x, what does that mean? This is say x, 1 over 3. You say 1 over whichever number is here. You know what I'm saying? So now, this meaning, you're going to say, oh, so my cx, I haven't started derivative because you cannot derivate when it's in a root. So you want to write as a power. So this is say 3 over 4. And then this x, you see, it's like x power 1 over 2. You know what I'm saying? Because if you square, if you square root of x, it's like x one of two. Now with minus, this one is fine. Ten x power seven, and then minus a plus one hundred. Oh, so can you derivate now? Oh yes. You know why we can derivate now? Because there's a power, so we can take it back. But before, how could you take it back? We couldn't. So now this time you say, take it to the back. So here you have three over four. I'm gonna multiply by 
this number the pop at the top. So three over four times the half because you take them any number multiply the back. So multiply it by a half. And then this x, you write exactly, take this power minus one. So a half, look, if you have a one orange and then you want a minus one, you're gonna get negative a half. So you're gonna say one minus a half is gonna be negative what? Negative a half and then minus. So we do the same game here. You know what I'm saying? So this is gonna be uh take seven to the back. So 10 times 7, 70, and then write your x. Take 7 minus 1 equal to 6 minus. Does this have an x? No, it doesn't have. So when you daddy that, you're going to get 0. You know what I'm saying? So all this is going to be 0, so we don't have to write. Does it have an x? No, it doesn't have an x. So when you daddy that, it's going to be 0. So all these two, they're going to give us 0. I don't have to write anything because it's going to be 0 plus 0. So 0, 0, 0. So I don't need this. Oh, so this one here is going to be what? Prime of x. You know what I'm saying? Now we go three times one equal to three. So now we're gonna say, oh, so now cos, marginal cos equal three times one is three, four times two equal to eight. And then you're gonna have x and then negative a half. Negative a half minus 70 x power six. Somebody could have continued further if you want, or I can just stop like that. You know what I'm saying? So this is what is the marginal cost. So if you want to get marginal cost or marginal profit, you must find the face derivative. You know what I'm saying? Now let's check this question here. So we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to raise this because I don't need it. And then we go back to our question. So if you go back to the question, you know what I'm saying? So the question says, uh, we have a function. But which function is the profit? P, profit. And because it's a profit function, so this is a profit function in rent. It could be dollar, rent is South African money. It could be dollar, you know what I'm saying? United States dollar or Canadian dollar. It could be um, uh, Tanzanian shillings, you know what I'm saying? Or it could be Kenyan shillings, or it could be Nigerian naira, naira or um, Ghana CD. Where X is the quantity, means quantity of what? Of products which is gonna be sold. Means if you put two products, it's gonna tell us how much profit we got. If you put four, how much profit we got? So now they say find the marginal call profit because it's profit function. At X means if you sell, if we're gonna sell products or if products are represented by X, if you're gonna put here 150 products, it's gonna tell us how much profit we got. But remember, they want us to find the marginal profit. So how are we gonna get marginal profit? We must find the face derivative, derivative. So we're gonna do just like I just, just showed you now, no, no, previous. So say okay, so now let me take my function, which is D, so say okay, so now this is gonna become so profit, marginal profit to derivative to take three multiplied by any number before. So three times five equals fifteen. And then write your x, write your x exactly. Now three minus one equals two, two. Minus minus x. But we have to take to the back. Because remember, it's like you find prop, marginal profit. Two times, there's no number here, means I can say one. So two times one equals two, and then this is gonna be x. Okay, now take the power minus one. Two minus one equals two, one. And then you write over your 200. You know what I'm saying? So two over 200, two over 200 is like one over, look, two over 200. Okay, so by two, one by two equal to 100. Or you can leave like that and you plug in the calculator. You know what I'm saying? So this let me say, one five x square minus two divided by itself one two hundred divided by two equal to hundred so it's like one over hundred and then x power one x power one is the x you know what i'm saying so this is a marginal profit so now so let's do this so now what do they want so you must say prime here to say is the face derivative okay now what do they want they want the marginal cost at x means when you sell 150 150 what? Of the products. Okay, so now let's take the point of 150 and put in here. So we say, oh, so now in the position of X, we're gonna put 150. So we're gonna say, okay, so profit of, we're not gonna write X, you say 150. So 150 equal, either I can use this function or this function, it's gonna give you the same answer. So I'm gonna take my 150 there, so it's gonna be one, five. I'm not gonna write X anymore because it's say X equals 150. So 150, and then it's gonna become power two minus, okay, now either you can use this or this, whichever one is the same thing. So I say one times, what is x? 150 over 100. So what you're gonna do now, 
Check a cock letter. Flat and cock letter. Oh my god. Where's my cock letter with me, man? Oh, I got it. Lock him in. Okay. So now I want to plug in my cock letter. So it's a 150. So 15, 150, and then square, and then minus fraction, 1, 150, and then over 100. Okay, fantastic. So we want to see uh, the final results. Okay, so we're going to get here. Uh, 3374. 3374.98. So this is going to give us 3374.98.8.8. Three, three, oh, so that's a marginal profit. Oh, yeah, that's a marginal profit. You know what I'm saying? So a marginal profit equal to this one right here. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get. So now let's go to the question number two. So we're going to hit the same game, okay? So we don't need the part of there. We go to question number two. So I can just erase to get a space. So we're done with this question. 3374988.5. Three, so now, okay, let's make a space here, man. Okay, cool. Now we're going to do the same approach, okay? Same approach, the same tricks. Okay, Cheers. Okay, so in a farmer, uh, if the farmer produce uh, 1,000 tons of millies, and he interested in knowing uh, how the profit change, so the talk about profit, so it means profit means profit function. If the profit change, if one extra ton is produced, then he must determine the marginal profit at the production level of 1,000 tons. So we want to have to use the procedure. So this is profit function. So it gave me the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write my profit function. Profit function. But what do they want us to find? It's a Monday. Marginal profit. Marginal profit. So P of X. 250. Minus X cube over 10. Minus 100. Oh man. This is very easy. So what I'm going to do. There's no power here, I mean this is power one. Okay? So that's a power one. Okay, that's power one. And then what I'm gonna do, tag to the back. So see, this is marginal profit. So you must say F P prime. So tag to the back is gonna be one times two fifty is two fifty. Write your x, write your x. One minus one equal to zero. Because this is one, and then we have to minus one as usual. You know what I'm saying? The minus, this is 3, so 3 is going to come here front. It's like there's a 1. 3 times 1 equal to 3, and then write your x. 3 minus 1 equal to 2, and then over your 10 minus. So this number here does not have an x, means when you derivate, it's going to be 0. Excuse me, you know what I'm saying? So everything here is 0 because it doesn't have an x, so I don't have to bother with this. So now they say, uh, what do they say, these people? You know what I'm saying? At the production level of 1,000 tons. Oh, so here. I have to put one time at time. So profit margin one two three equal to two fifty and then it's gonna be oh before I say this excuse me apology before you say it. remember any number power zero equal to one if we say four two six eight and then power zero equal to one why x both of this is power zero equal to one Anything power zero equal to one. If I got m, t power zero. So which one is power zero? Only t is power zero. So this is equal to m, t power zero equal to one. So m times one equal to m. But for this case, you see both of them is power zero. That's why everything in a bracket become one. So for this case here, I could have plugged like this in the calculator. Or if I don't want to say this, I could say p x equal to only x is power zero. So it's 250. But any number of power zero equal to one. You know what I'm saying? So I mean this equal to one. So it's like two fifty times one equal to two fifty. Because it's gonna be two fifty times one. Two fifty times one is two fifty. So I'm gonna have to write this just a waste of time. And then minus three x square over ten. So what we're gonna do now? Substitute the value of number of times, which is one uh, one thousand. So p prime marginal profit one two three, and then equal two fifty. 
minus 3 over 10 and then this is going to be 1, 2, 3 and then square. So what I'm going to do, put the calculator and if you get calculator, so say 250, 250 and then minus 3 and then times 1, 2, 3 square and then over 10. Okay, okay, okay. So we got, uh, excuse me. Okay, so now we got negative, excuse me, we got negative. So, so we did not make it a profit, it means you make what? We made a loss. So this gonna be negative, two, nine, nine, seven, fifty. So what that mean? Means we did not make any profit, major profit, but we made a loss of what of? Negative two, two, 209, uh, 750, which is a uh, loss. You know what I'm saying? Now let's, let's just decide, let's put two here. Let's change the function a little bit, you know what I'm saying, for fun. So I'm trying to play around so you get to land, okay? So now let me erase this. Let's see, uh, let me say here this is two. Okay, let's put here two for example. So what happened? The game is going to be almost similar. Okay, the game is almost similar. So what we're going to do here? So oh, let's take my profit. Let's say this is cost function. Let's, let's say this is cost. So it's going to be a cost function given equal to 250 x and then minus minus x squared over 10 and then minus 100. So the game is the same. We have to derivate to differentiate. So remember this is power one. Because there's no power, means power one. So now I'm gonna say marginal cost. So now take one to the back, it's gonna be 250 times one equals 250. Because take one to the back, write your x exactly. One minus one equal to zero minus. Take these two here, which is gonna be two, and then write your x. Take this power minus one. Two minus one equal to one. And then over ten. This number does not have an x. So when you derivate any number which doesn't have x equal to zero. So I have to say minus zero, but there's no need for me to say minus zero. Because zero. So what we're gonna do? Our marginal cost and the number power zero equal to one. So 250 times x power zero. It's like 250 times one. So it's 250. So I can just say this is 250. 250 minus now two uh, over 10 one x you know what I'm saying so what I'm gonna do let's put our one thousand so say oh so I'm gonna say by cost function oh prime marginal cost not cost function marginal cost now because we have already that in it so put you one thousand times minus 250 minus 2 over 10 and then you 1000 and apply that a calculator you know what I'm saying so when you put the calculator there it's going to give you uh, just I can do right here okay zero cancel zero but you can plug in the calculator right and this is going to give us 250 minus 2 times 100 because zero and zero cancel equal 200 so this equal to 50 oh so marginal cost equal to 50 it could be dollar, it could be rand, uh, because it's not mentioned. It could be dollar, it could be rand, it could be shillings, Tanzania shillings, it could be Kenya shillings, Uganda shillings, or Ghanaian CD, or Nigerian Nada, or whatever money have. You know what I'm saying? So now our cost function, if we have to get use of 1,000 times equal to 50 money, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in this story, you can call Imali. Chalet, Pesa, Pesa, Hela, you know what I'm saying, Swahili, Hela, Pesa, Imal, this is so, Chalet, this is so, this is so, let's see here, man, it's a face on my channel, you know what I'm saying, face on my channel, this is how we do, so let me, uh, I think I get some more question here, man, let's get some more question, um, let's go with some more Face on my channel, now you can watch my music, okay? Uh, I'll let you go and watch my music. I, I don't have a problem now, you know what I'm saying? I got a problem, go watch my music, it's okay. Follow me Instagram, uh, you know what I'm saying? Show a lot of people, thanks a lot of your time, peace.